Hi, I I kept preparing and preparing and it got to the point where I said that if I don't get on here, I'm not going to ever get on here. So I kind of got a, a little mess because I went grocery shopping. I wanted to show you a little bit of that and then we can also, I have my trusty help over there that's pulling out all the avocados and I didn't post on here that we're doing avocado bread as well. So um, I still am... I haven't showered since this morning from the workout, but it's okay. Y'all can't smell me. It's a good thing. Uh, so she's doing the avocados so that we could do the avocado bread. Can you roll those um, limes, like roll them to where they're soft? If you need hot water, let me know. So we're going to do the protein loaf. I tried something different, and I popped that in the oven already. So it's, diff it's a protein loaf, but it's made differently. So I want to see how that turns out. Uh, I was in here trying to create, I'm gonna make a cake. We gonna have us a, a protein cake. You watch me for while I'm three. Uh, but let me get my apron. Hold on a second. Uh, all right. Cause I know a lot of people have been asking about the protein loaf. And, um, I, I've only done the bread and I got my phone backwards guys. So I can't really see what's going on because every time I turn it down, y'all know it falls. So I want to make sure it doesn't fall. Um, so I got it backwards. I may have to take it off at the last minute to kind of see um, what exactly you guys are saying. So uh, a little unorganized, but we'll get it all worked out. So got some stuff. All right. So let's start with the pro well let's start with what i bought you guys now more than ever stores are making things that are convenient for everyone and the greatest part about that is i like to go through and see what the things that they have uh made convenient uh for us hold on let me get my protein powder so again we're gonna make our protein loaf and this is the protein powder that I'm using. Hold on a second. Let's see what, what we got. Oh, goodness. It looks good. Hold on. I'm going to turn you guys this way. I'm over here at the oven. So that's a different loaf. So we're not going to talk about that right now because that's different. I'm constantly trying different things. Okay, so I want to show you guys some of the things that I got from the store. Then we'll go on to make the protein bread, um, make a big one. So you guys know in your snack bags, we talked about snack bags. Let me get that. I don't want you guys going and buying some super expensive bag. Here you go. You get one of those frozen bags, put it in there, or you could get like uh, the HEB or sorry, Walmart little shopping bag, something small that you can pop in the refrigerator and pull back out when you need it. I use these and have a small cooler or most of the time um, I'm usually somewhere doing something and I don't have time for all that. So you got these, they're 80 calories get them they are cheese sticks or you could get the string cheese and that's another 70 calories it's life it has uh five grams of protein five grams six grams of protein so get these find the ones you like throw it in your bag if you like eggs boil you some eggs pop your eggs in there i found these and these have uh this is uh it has beef sticks so the sharp cheese and beef sticks it's 100 calories, it, da, 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 da. so 100 calories for the cheese stick, 90 calories for um, the beef, and there is no carbs and no sugar. Uh, the cheese has, the beef has four grams of protein and then the cheese has six. 
So these are paired up together. I haven't tried these before, but they come together and they, they work. There you go. No, they don't come together. They're separate. So you can get you a beef stick, get you a piece of cheese, throw it in there. And I think I have an HEB uh, that I shop at and these were, they were under three bucks. So they were like $2 and like, like three bucks. Um, I also got one that had uh, the mozzarella and uh, salami sticks. Uh, we got seven, uh, 80 grams for the, the beef salami sticks. There's no carbs, no sugar, four grams of protein. Of course, the mozzarella stick is five grams of protein and um, one carb and one sugar. So get these. They work perfectly for your snack bag. All right. I also found for those of us that like a little bit more healthy stuff, I, I, I don't know if I posted that picture, but it was a picture of all the different little snacks. These are seaweed. I like seaweed. So this is uh, really no carbs at all because it has one gram of fiber in it. So no carbs and one protein is 25 calories. It's the whole pack. And I think they have like, uh, I don't know, uh, 12, 13 strips. They come in four different flavors. They're really good. They're kind of crunchy. So for those of us that like to have a crunch, these work very well. Um, also, I found the, the Muso Chili. It's a, it's a plant protein. So for those of us that do not eat meat this is really good and the whole thing is a hundred well half of the pack is 150 calories uh you have seven carbs and four sugars and 13 grams of protein this is amazing so try that out i also got some vegan um guacamole uh, i tasted it. it was it was amazing the packages are about this big so they're already packed, so it's about 80 calories for that. And you got uh, three carbs, no sugar, and one protein. So it helps when you make those tortilla chips that I showed you how to make, perfect. Also, they got another one, same thing, pretty much the same. I think this one has only two, uh, pro has only two uh, carbs and one sugar and then one protein. All right, I also got this, which is pork sirloin wrapped in bacon. I think it's amazing. You can have uh, the serving size is four ounces. So that means just one of these, which you couldn't eat all this anyway. And that's going to give you about 190 calories. Oh, that's pretty awesome. 190 calories and one carb, one sugar, and 20 grams of protein. It's like a like um, what do you call, uh, call those things? I'm going to say a shish kebab, but a score. And you can put those in your air fryer. So it's already packed and ready to go. I'm just going to drop it in there. And then I can always eat it later. It has bacon wrapped around there. So that's pretty awesome. Um, fish is on sale. So this is my salmon. And then, of course, so that I don't have to make them, this is my cream cheese poppers. Uh, got these for 10 bucks because, of course, it was 20 25% off. Uh, and then we have the shrimp and bacon wrapped poppers. This is the part that I like about it is that you can have four of them and um, it is da, 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 three carbs, two sugars, and 22 grams of protein. So this is shrimp, bacon wrapped jalapenos with cheese. This is amazing. So that's my shopping that I did today. Now we're going to get started on the protein loaf. Get all this stuff out of my way. And then I'm going to get started on that protein bread. I got my helper over there who's working right away. All right. And again, guys, remember I'm going to start doing some things on uh, the store on this group it has a uh, a store so I'm gonna uh, I've started ordering products from there and I'm gonna see exactly how those products taste so you guys can know I'm gonna check on this again okay I think we're good to go here 
So that means it's in there for about 20 minutes. Uh, where is it on? The different kind of loaf that I... <laughs> I'm going to let the taster over there. He does, it's really hot, so you're going to have to... Here, you can taste it. I don't know, maybe it needs to be a little bit sweeter. Uh, here. Uh, oh, well, where'd it go? Oh, this doesn't have any sugar in it, but you're, what do you think? Oh, wow, it's like what? I like it <laughs> so is it moist? Mm -hmm. is, it di is it different from the other one that I made before? How different? Oh, it's hot. <laughs> okay, so she's tasting the new loaf that I made. She thinks that it's it's good. She didn't even eat any of uh, the sweet cream cheese that I normally put on there. So she's going to tell me what's the difference. It's real, real, real moist on the inside. Okay, so it's real, real moist on the inside. You went a little easy on the cinnamon, which really, really blends it in. It's not overpowering at okay. all. Okay. Um. Come on, speak louder. Speak loud. Nice crunch on the outside. Nice crunch on the outside. Okay, well, that's good. All right. So, I'm not going to do that loaf. We'll do it at another time. Uh, I haven't really perfected it. It looks a little ugly, but let's see. Uh, ah! This one I actually made with some cream cheese and uh, a little more egg than usual. And, of course, kind of like regular. But this one, I actually use uh, buttermilk. So, uh, I want you to squeeze uh, one of them in there. Do you need a knife or you got a knife? Okay, do you need a, I have a, a lemon squeezer thing in my mug. Do you need that? A lime squeezer? Are your hands that strong? Because mine definitely are. I have this squeezer thing in my I'm going to leave it up here in this case because I know I can't do it. Anyway, so she said that it actually, oh, it is. Very. This one worked out very well. All right. So we're going to leave that Ow. over to the side. She likes it the way it is. I guess it could have been a little sweeter, but you can still use that for all the other ingredients. Okay, so let's go on with this. And we're going to use, again, we're using Premier Protein. And they have a scooper that comes with, a scooper that comes with it. So all I'm doing is digging in here. And I'm getting one scoop and two scoops. So it's two scoops of the protein powder. My oven is on 350. All right. So this one we're just going to use uh, protein. So I got a couple of different proteins. I got the... Uh, Bananas and cream. I might want to try that because I've tried all the other ones. I've got the caramel. And then, of course, I have the uh, vanilla. So, um, it doesn't matter however you want to use it or however you choose to use it. I want to make sure that it rises up more. It rises up about this much. I want to get it a little bit higher. So, that's why I'm kind of playing with the recipe. So, I'm going to put all my dry ingredients in. And I got the cinnamon. And um, this is, oh, one teaspoon. I, I'm famous for knocking stuff over. So one teaspoon uh, of this. And I'm also going to use, I didn't use any nutmeg. I'm going to take the pumpkin spice. And I'm going to do about, oh, just a little less than a teaspoon of that. And I've actually kind of measured that out. So I'm also... I'm going to use some baking powder. Doesn't matter what kind of baking powder you use. I mean, it's baking powder. Now I'm going to have a teaspoon of that. Then I'm going to use some baking soda. This is the first time that I've used this. Well, heck, this is the first time I've actually created this. So, And that's a teaspoon of that. All right. I'm going to use two eggs. The eggs that I broke were like a little frozen, so I was kind of hoping that they kind of warmed up a bit. So it's two eggs. I'm gonna use about 
I'm going to use this bananas and cream. See how that goes. So this right here is a half a cup. And then packets of sugar. I usually use, I think it was six for the small loaf. So I guess I'm going to use about 12. Um, I tried this one. It wasn't as sweet as what I'd like it. So let's just go ahead and start opening these packages. And I was at the store. Why? I did not get some already done sweetener in did I, did, am I talking to y'all? I am so sorry. What are you making? I am making a protein loaf, and then we're also going to make the avocado bread. I got a lot of requests about that. Remember, guys, most of the videos that you'll find, one behind the other, is going to be on my YouTube channel. Uh, if Miss Gina is on here or Miss Raleigh, if you can put the YouTube channel and the group's channel on there. Um, it's Adelia's Operation Reset My Life. A lot of people said they couldn't find it. Three, six. If you can't find it, send me uh, an instant message and I will get it to you. Again, I said 12 of these, right? So we're going with that. I'm going to taste it and see where we are as far as the sweetness of it because we're going to use this strictly just for our um, bread pudding or for our uh, waffles or for this, this mixture here or we're going to use it for our pancakes, or we're going to use it for our French toast. So that's 12. Again, we got the bananas and cream. You can use whichever one you want. You could even use water if you don't have a protein drink. It, it's, it's okay. Then we're gonna take a teaspoon of, I'm sorry, a tablespoon of vanilla. This is imitation vanilla. And I think I got everything. All right, so I'm gonna start mixing in. I hope you guys can see this. Again, the phone is backwards so it doesn't fall. Okay, sounds good? All right, good. All right, I'm sorry I'm not able to say hi to everybody and I'm just gonna throw in here and I may add a little bit more. I think I will. So that's a half a cup right there of protein. Definitely gonna need some more. I'm gonna do my best not to just start pouring stuff in there. Cause I'm trying to make sure that you guys at least have a measure of what I'm using. All right, so we're gonna do a cup. I don't like the way it looks. All right, the good thing about this is if it gets too watery, we'll just put some more in there. All right, so here's my two eggs. I'm gonna drop my two eggs in there. Making sure that I got everything that I need. That's what it needs to look like. All right. You see how that tastes. Oh, that's perfect. All right. So, get you a loaf pan. You can even get one of the throwaway ones. I got this one from, you know, Dollar Tree. All right. Now, I'll get you some baking spray. And we're just going to make sure that we are coating it on the bottom. This is some cheap ones, so I kind of use a lot of it. All right. That out of there. All right. Now we're just going to pour our batter inside of the pan. I hope y'all like this stuff. Tell me if you do. I talk so much. I can always pre-record these things if you want to. So we're going to put this inside of our loaf pan. The walk has, has this morning was a hard walk for me because I did not want to do it. Even while I was on the walk, I didn't want to walk. But my, my neighbors have gotten to the point where they blow at me. So it's, it's really great to see them. Uh, blow and, and recognize that I'm out there. All right, so we're gonna turn it again. We got 350 on the oven and we're gonna put this in for about 20 to 25 minutes I'm gonna check it in about 20 to see where we are and the pan is about half full I don't know if you guys could see that. All right again. I got my phone backwards um, I don't need that 
I'm gonna just set it by itself on the rack in the center midway through the oven. I know some people that like have their racks like way at the top or way at the bottom. Yeah, I know, you gotta put that in the center of your oven. All right, so I don't know if she has completed the task I gave her because she disappeared on um, me. So we're gonna do the avocado bread. I know a lot of you have been requesting that and I'm gonna kinda move things around. Hold on for one second while I kinda move stuff around. Now the great part about it is I've not made an avocado loaf before and uh, y'all know I get on here and just start brainstorming and thinking, oh, I could do this, I could do that. All right, so avocado loaf let me go get my pan of avocados oh yeah she didn't put it all in there so for those of you who i'm sorry i'm wrong okay so i'm looking at what we have here and all this is with the avocado mm. hold on guys i need to get some more out some more limes So, uh, get my own cutting board. All right, so we take the avocados, get some ripe ones, get some soft ones. Even if they're like overripe, it's okay. It's over the over riper, the better if that makes sense. So get them even if they're overripe. That's that's cool. And then you're gonna take some lime juice, and you're just gonna squeeze that that in there. And then we're gonna also put Parmesan in there. Let me use this here. Let me get this out of the way. This is not a pretty sight. I apologize for that. Use that as my trash. All right, so here's our bowl of avocado. And I, for one, cannot squeeze that. Tell me guys, where are you from? Uh, Won't you share this video with someone you know? who may be interested in seeing how to do this. And I thought I took my Parmesan out. Uh, there's Parmesan in my... All right, so I just, I did take out. It's just a different one. So you could use this Parmesan or you could use just a regular plain one. I like the regular plain one. The kids like this one. I don't do that. I also use daddy's seasoning. For those of you who don't know, my dad created a seasoning, which no matter what we use it on, it turns out amazing. Makes the flavor of any food come out very well. So again, we're just using, this is like not really grated. It's, um, you can see the, can you see that? I hope you can, because I know sometimes when I look on the replay, you really can't. There you go. How's that look? All right. Let me see if I can take some of the glare off of here. This is an iPhone, guys. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it the battery life on it is amazing. Is that any better? How's that? Or is that too bright? How's that? How you guys doing? Talk to me. Let me know what's going on. I'll answer your questions once I get this in the oven. I also want to do the avocado loaf uh, in the oven as well as some on top of the stove for like if you want to do hamburgers or any kind of sandwiches, you can kind of do it on two ways. All right. So this is my finely, no it's not. This is my finely grated Parmesan. I'm going to make sure all these chunks are out of here. And I'm mainly going to use this finely grated one because it's easier to mix, mix in. If you were going to do it on top of the stove, I'd say use the, the one that, that has uh, this one here that is not as, is shredded. So this is grated, this is shredded. This is also craft, it's also a million dollars. So anyway, so we're going to put some Parmesan in here. And I'll probably put some shredded with the one that I'm going to cook on top of the stove. Take daddy seasoning. Now you can have your loaf just 
plain or you can take it and add some type of different flavor in there whatever the flavoring is that you like go ahead and put that in there this is daddy's seasoning i would probably say this is about a tablespoon of that and then we're just going to mix it and then we're going to taste it and to make the loaf when I make the loaf, I'm going to put some egg in there with the loaf. I'm not going to put any egg in there if I'm going to do it on top of the stove. I did say I wasn't going to do that, right? Change my mind. The greatest part about the recipes that I'm giving you, they're basic. So you take those basic recipes and kind of change them up a bit and make them yours. If you like Spanish, uh, I put peppers in here one time. Peppers, onions, uh, red onions. Uh, red bell pepper it really changes the whole flavor of it all right I'm gonna move things around I know you guys can't see me because I'm over here and I'm gonna try to bring it closer to the to the stove Again, loaf pans are great. Get them from Dollar Tree. They work amazing. They're only a dollar, so if you jack them up, which I've had a few times when I've jacked them up. And this is the first time I made the loaf, so. We'll see if, I, if it gets done right, right? All right, so here I'm going to part some of this out, and I'm going to use that to make my bread on top of the stove. And all I'm gonna do with my pan is spray it. I'm gonna take this meat and put it up before it decides it doesn't wanna do well. And my poppers and my shrimp. All right, my family usually enjoys that stuff. All right. All right, so if you do want to take it and um, add some extra stuff to it, you can. But again, we're just going basic here. And you do what you want with yours. I'm trying to find something to spoon this over into. With the spatula, I'm going to take some of this out of there, and then I'm going to take the rest and make my loaf out of it. That's probably going to be good enough. All right. All right, so I'm going to use this for on top of the stove. I'm going to take my coconut spray. I'm going to bring you guys closer. Just give me a second. I know somebody's probably saying, we can't see. I'm going to just spray my pan because it's heating up. And then I'm going to take this. This is gonna, I'm going to use this for my loaf. This is the first time I did the avocado loaf, so bear with the sister. I'm not saying it's going to turn out right, but we're going to see what we're going to get. I'm going to experiment on this and see where we are. But the main thing is the avocado bread, which works out perfectly. So you can take this same thing, you can take some parchment paper, and you can spread it out, and you can put it in the oven. I found that it's faster if you just do it on top of the stove the same way when you make the pita breads or when you make the tortillas. I don't like too many ingredients because when I start watching that stuff on online and they start making all those different ingredients i kind of lose interest because that's just way too much put some more daddy seasoning in there if i had all the jalapenos cut up i would have done that uh my eggs have gotten lost uh, i heard someone say the other day they hated avocado 
you cannot taste the avocado when you make it. I cracked this it, ooh, earlier. It was like frozen. got everything that I need in there. I'm going to go and start these over here. I did not start that. It's already going up. I don't even know how long it's been in there. Um, so we're just them in here small I guess I should bring you closer to the stove so give me a second um, can you see that yeah all right I'm looking for my spatula so technically all we're doing is letting it heat up right here I'll be right back Again, we just got avocado. We're trying it on top of the stove. How are you guys doing? Where are you guys from? Remember, however you put it in here, it's kind of like a pancake. It's going to be just like that. turn this down just a bit now uh, let's go back over here while that's going and we're going to put our loaf in this pan hold on let me get my spatula that I didn't start that. All right. All right, so we have our avocado right here. My son loved the bread so much. He's like, if I bring you whole bunch of avocados mom would you make me some bread all right again with this is about five out five and a half avocados in between the two and get back over here and flip this over and this is going to be the avocado loaf right here perfect So they take a, a minute to cook on the stove. They're just not readily going. To, they have to kind of dry out some. So we're going to put this in the oven. Uh, we got about eight minutes on there. So I'm going to put this in the oven for about, it's going to probably be too long. And I'll probably show it to you after it's done. Because it's probably going to take, because of the size of weight of it, it's going to take more than 30 minutes. And I'm not going to just sit here for 30 minutes. But then I can show you what the loaf looks like afterwards. How about that?
So as the avocado bread on top begins to dry out and cook, we'll see what that looks like hopefully before we are done. All right, so we're almost done with the uh, protein loaf. We completed that. I've shown you some different options as far as some snacks that you can put inside of your bag. Also some lunch items that you can always use. I showed you the protein. Most people said that they found it on Amazon. It's definitely going to be at Sam's. Uh, I'm not sure about Costco's because I do not shop at Costco's. And you can actually add whatever protein you want to add to that. Totally up to you. These are the ones. I'm just now trying this one and it's actually pretty good. I got to have it really cold because I'm not big on it. But as long as it's really cold, I'm okay. But these two are my Norma tea, especially when I go to have my coffee. Uh, okay, so I'm going to answer some questions. We got about another seven minutes. Ask me anything. What do you want to know? I'm here to answer your questions. I'm going to move the phone. Tell me what you want to know. All right. We're still cooking over here on the bread. We're still too soft to turn. All right. So tell me what you want to know. I'm going to move this around because it doesn't work like that. So tell me what you guys want to know. And I'm going to try to answer those questions as best as I possibly can with my journey. I'm a year and a half out. I've gone from 250, 49, 50 pounds to 160, in between 163 and 167, depending on what day it is, what time of the month it is, things of that nature. Anyway, so let's see. Hello, Miss Barbie. Uh, where can I get the daddy seasoning? You can get that from me. Uh, let me check on my my bread on top of the oven. I smell it. I don't want it to burn. No, don't burn, don't burn. Hold on, guys. I'm coming. We're almost done over here. Making sure we're doing really well. Um, I My father created this seasoning. If it's something that you want, send me a a email and I, I mean, I'm sorry, a message. And uh, we'll see about getting it to you guys. We are still in talks with a local store here to carry it, which I'm really excited about. And I uh, do believe that I can uh, sell some, even though we're still in talks. Uh, that was one of the questions that I did ask. So I also need the chip recipe. Okay, Miss Richardson, I got you, girl. Um, hi, Michelle from Boston. Can I get it at, no, you can't get it at any, at, at stop and shop. If you're talking about the protein, I'm not sure. We don't have a stop and shop here. Uh, not really sure. Um, hello, Barbie. Uh, da, 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 can, okay. Uh, okay. I need to be in, yeah, Texas is one of them places that we got H-E-B. H-E-B is on point. Uh, let's see. Uh, share the video, guys. Whoever you think may want to see it. Where can I? Okay, everybody talks about daddy seasoning. It's daddy seasoning. Uh, my dad. Hold on, let me flip over my. All right, don't be afraid of your bread. Because it's if you're if you're turning it over early, it's pretty delicate because remember it has to dry out and you don't want uh, I'm gonna break it apart come on oh that's the only part about cooking it on top of this stove you have to be very patient here I'm over here talking y'all way over here I'm sorry you have to be really patient um see I got it the wrong way I don't want it to fall you have to be really patient with it hopefully it won't fall don't fall. Okay. Yeah, you have to be very patient with it when you cook it on top of the stove. Because again, remember, we're, we're drying it out. Or what, what, it, what happened if you baked it? So 
you don't want to have that patience for in the oven. Yeah, that's what's not that was not ready. So as you cook it on top of the stove, you just got to be very patient. Maybe somebody's oven ain't working. So I just wanted to give you, and you want to lower that because again, it's kind of like bacon. You're just drying it out. And this will be the size of my bread over here, and this will be the size of my bread over here. This one's still moving around. So we're going to let it just slow cook on top of the stove. We'll leave it alone for while I jack it up because I've been known to jack stuff up. Again, this is only my second time doing it on the stove there. All right, so Miss Jackson, I mean, sorry, Candy, how are you? Uh, let's see here. Ashley, can you make a recipe post when the video is done? I came in late. Uh, I'm gonna probably port this over to uh, the YouTube channel. Um, it's right when I'm done. I can't make any promises, but I will definitely try to do that. Um, to give you the ingredients of it. Can you make a protein loaf with any protein? Now, I can't say yes or no. Hold on, let me check the protein. I can't say yes or no to that. I know someone told me that they bought some protein and it did not work out the way that mine did. So, I don't wanna say yes and then you get yo and spend a million dollars on that protein and it doesn't turn out right. So, it's a possibility you can. I think what they got was a was a vegan loaf. My bread's doing good. It's rising very pretty. Alright, so we're gonna put about I'm gonna check it in about 25 more minutes. Alright. This is the loaf. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. It turned out wonderful. Wonderful. Hold on here. See what we got. Can you? See, oh, you can't see that. Let's take it down. It's just not gonna work because I'm gonna have to redo it backwards. All right. Can you see that? Okay. All right. Let me ensure, cause this, that is cooked all the way through. Check on my, yep, it's all good. No, it hasn't cooked all the way through. Go figure that. Give me about five more minutes. doing good. I think I may have lowered this a little bit more. Alright, anyway, what I was trying to acquire was it to rise up more so that we'll actually get a, a high and it's doing really good. We need to do just a little bit more cooking to that and other than that, it, it turned out wonderful. I'm so pleased with it. So let's answer some questions. So to answer your question, Lisa Morris, I cannot say that any other protein powder is gonna do the same. I cannot say that it won't, but I definitely can't say that it will. Um, let's see. Put the macro recipe on YouTube. I didn't put it on there. I think it's on there. I think it's the one when I was, um, I think I had the blue on. Uh, I think so. I think a family member came and they wanted steak and it's like, just don't make me any macro burgers. I love my macro burgers. I thought they were amazing. Okay, so let's see. Ask me any questions, guys. Uh, hi, Miss Adelia. How are you? I'm doing fine, Miss Henry. Um, I'm jealous you won't have a an HGB store. I'm jealous we don't. Oh, so it's HEB, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, I think you can go online and order things from HEB. I know when I was living out of state and they didn't have an HEB, it was like my mother had to like ship me stuff from HEB. 
you know, once you get used to certain things, you just, you got to have it. I wish I had a store like where you were. Yeah, H-E-B is, is one of a kind. Um, they've been around for so many years. Um, let's see. I'm trying to scroll back to see if anybody had any questions. Okay. I'm going to go back up, see if anybody has any questions. Again, go to the YouTube channel. It's Adelia's Operation Reset My Life on YouTube. We also have a, a, a Facebook group as well. Same thing, Adelia's Operation Reset My Life. Uh, which procedure did you have? I uh, That was Ms. Johnson's question. I had the gastric sleeve. I had that uh, uh, 2018 in April. Uh, I'm staying in Boston. Uh, I get the premium protein power at stop and shop that's pretty good that size right there was like at heb was like i think uh i want to say like 19 or 20 bucks and then they had like a three dollar coupon or something like that um i know that you'll find it cheaper at sam so you probably could find it cheaper at costco depending on the area that you're in um so we're still going i'm looking at my oh it's doing really good my avocado bread is doing good. I just broke one apart because I was messing with it. The thing about it is I can mash it back together. I just broke it. Oh, <laughs> I didn't know who that was. All right. So I got one over here that's ready. That's the smaller one I had. And obviously cooking them on the stove makes them a little bit more browner. It just totally depends on you. Look, it don't just make it brown. They make it dark brown. All right. My loaf is doing amazing. I took it out too soon, as you know. And I can't do this with one hand. All right. That is pretty cool. All right. Any more questions, guys? I probably have to take the look. How can you make the protein mac and cheese? Um, I would use spaghetti squash, unless they have like protein noodles. Like I said, I was I'm gonna start getting some. Uh, I have an order already from the. Uh, <laughs> you can't. They're they're like this way, so you can't see. Um, I'm gonna start getting things from the store. Uh, the bariatric pal store and i know i saw some noodles in there and i ordered some of those noodles so i want to see what those noodles taste like and of course you always you're going to use cheese and uh you're going to use whatever cream heavy cream is actually not at that is not as high in calorie as a lot of us think so take a look at that and um i will do my best when i get those things to kind of make some uh different recipes out of those um so any more questions? We still have a few minutes left on, um, come on, oh good. All right, so this is the avocado bread. It's really good. Again, you wanna leave it in there a little bit longer. Mm. If you um, want it firmer, that one is still a little moist on the inside, so it has to have an opportunity to dry out. So actually doing it in the oven is going to be a better option because then the, the drying time, and I think it's about, when I put it in the oven, it's like 30 minutes. And there ain't no way I'm going to sit up here all day on this stove for 30 minutes. But as I'm pressing it, I'm trying to get it to dry out a bit the great part about it like i said is if you take it and you flip it like i just did and made a mess of it you just mash it back together because again all you're doing is flipping it and drying it out flipping it and drying it out and this does not taste like avocado it tastes just like bread uh it can be utilized as a snack uh it's very tasty and uh pretty good so as it dries out more I could definitely use it as a hamburger bun. But that is how I do the protein loaf. I really want you guys to see it when it comes out so that you can see how we... Um, this is the other loaf that I made. Kind of move this stuff around so you guys can see that. Here, t taste this, Alex. She hates avocados. 
<laughs> Just taste it. It doesn't taste like avocado. She hates avocados. What's it taste like? Like a chip. Like a chip. Okay, so she said it tastes like a chip. She hates avocado, but she's actually eating it. She ate the whole thing. So, someone that doesn't like avocado, you don't have to worry. It doesn't taste like avocado. She refuses to eat avocados. So, the fact that she ate that whole thing tells you that it does not taste like avocados, but it is really good. So, I'm going to move this around, and we're going to cut into the loaf that I have already made. So you guys can see that. <laughs> She's trying to get past. <laughs> All right, I'm still making the rest of these. Here they are right here. I'm still making. Oh, there they are. Oh, I am loving it because they taste so good. See, that's the one I jacked up. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get a bread knife. Um, Alex, can you hold this for me? <laughs> <laughs> Second, I can't put it back on the tripod because it's going to take forever. I just kind of... Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, over here. She's like, I'm doing fried chicken. All right, kind of hold it like uh, right there. Swipe that over so I can see. All right, so this is the, the first loaf that I did. And as you can see, I told you I used some cream cheese in there. I let it be kind of chunky because I really wanted to see see how much. Oh my God, this is like like butter. And I made two of these. And they're nice and moist. And you can take this, you can use this as your um, French bread. And then you can also take that recipe and you can also use it as a waffle. Nice and moist. Again. Now, now that is a great, great loaf. And so the other one is, is wider and bigger. And we're definitely... Thank you so much, Alex. <laughs> She's like, don't put me on camera. <laughs> All right. So kind of waiting on the loaf to come out. I'm going to check it again. She's got to get to work there. And see where we are. Next time, I'm not going to do so many things at once. All right, there's my bread. It's flipped over. It's looking good. Oh, look at my avocado loaf. It's amazing. I'm going to check on this here. All right. All right. I think we're all good to go. Let me find my... Thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I am so happy that you did. This is amazing. All right. So I'm going to try to get this out of here. Got this one. And that one is a sweeter one. Somewhere. There it is. Next time I'm not taking it off the tripod, and next time I'm definitely not putting it backwards. So that way you guys don't have to look at me. You can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put this right here. Um, okay. I'm going to get me another... This is the loaf that my kids love. And they actually would rather have these loaves than to have regular bread. But I'm like, yeah, no, probably not. Ah, it's hot. All right. Whew. There it is. It's nice and smoking hot. I'm excited about it. Ah! Okay. There we go. Uh, my bread knife disappeared on me. All right. And then here, 
are our bread that we would use and put our hamburger bun on here place that on top and boom there you go avocado pancake bread that you would just make on the stove it takes longer i wouldn't advise doing it on the stove do it inside the oven that's going to be a lot better for you so this is our loaf i left my knife Nice and hot. Nice and crunchy on top. My taster left. That's the Oh my God, it smells so great. It's like bread. It's not as sweet. I'll, uh, here's a rule I live by. Because I know a lot of people are like, is sweet, is it going to be sweet? Great part about this, if you like raisins or dates or... or whatever nut you want to put in there you can drop those in there um cranberries raspberries and it can just really change the flavor of it and then on top you can sprinkle some uh, some shaved almonds or whatever so it's like a bread loaf it's not as sweet but my rule of thumb is make it sweeter than what you like and when it cooks up it won't be that sweet it'll it'll just have the right amount of sweetness and that's what this one did. So for those that do not it like it really sweet, it's so moist, I don't want to break it down. So there you go. Your nice loaf. There you go. I'm so pleased with it. So there's your loaf. You can take it. It's just hot out. As you can see, it's still smoking. And you can take this and you can make your French bread out of it. Or you can utilize it for, you know, some spread. If you have a party, uh, you can actually make you a hamburger out of this bread as well. I always said that when you make it, if you want bread, what you could do is take half of it, cut it here, and then cut your slices this way. And then that way you would have a bigger piece of bread. But again, remember guys, our tummies are small. We can't eat all that anyway. So that would be absolute perfect. Uh, I usually take um, um, meatballs like this. And I cut after I make the meatball, I cut them in half and then mash them in the pan. So I normally have about a uh, hamburger patty that's about this big around, which would work perfect for, uh, of course it's flat, perfect for the avocado bread that I have here. And I'm going to go ahead and cut this. That was the same one that she had already. I like it. I like it. You can't beat that flavor. Anyway, so there you go. We got about another 15, 20 minutes, 15 minutes on the uh, avocado loaf. And when it's done... I'll post the pictures of that. I'll even post the pictures of this. And I hope you guys enjoyed this very long experiment and tutorial of how to make the protein loaf. All right, guys. I love you. If you have any more questions, let me see. Could you inbox me the recipe? I will more than likely try. If I'm going to uh, put the recipe, I'm going to just do it. Uh, either on the video because to do it individually usually after I do a live there's probably anywhere from a hundred to 150 messages and so that's one of the reasons why I do apologize if I don't get back to everybody although no and although everybody is not in the live a lot of times I'll get messages upon messages upon messages so I apologize uh, it's it's a lot easier if I just post one post um let's see you need the recipe uh i will post both of them thank you miss gina she gave you the facebook group could you also put the um the youtube channel as well because what i do so that you don't have to look through to find the recipes is i put them on the youtube channel so it's nothing but all the videos that i've done which have had all of the um the recipes that I've done and then that way um, you can see exactly firsthand a lot of times I'll tweak things and try to find a better way of doing them <clears throat> excuse me like I said this loaf here was a different loaf that I, I tried today and it has cream cheese in it and I actually did it with buttermilk 
versus doing it with the protein. This is all protein. This has buttermilk, but they both have have eggs in them. So this has a uh, cream cheese and buttermilk. It's a lot sweeter uh, loaf than this one. It's totally up to you. I used uh, a, a different type of, uh, I used the Stevia for this one. And then for this one, I used the Equal. Equal is gonna be a lot sweeter. Uh, so for those of you who are vegan, uh, you could also take the protein powder uh, and you can use water versus using, I don't know if the protein drinks, I, I don't know much about vegan, so please forgive me. Uh, but I did do egg, I did do protein in here. Uh, you can even use water, but I found that when you're using something that's a milk base, it's gonna be a lot, it's gonna have a lot more moisture to it. And this one I use um, the bananas and cream. Um, and please uh, share, like and share this video with anyone that you know of of course go over to the youtube channel as well so if you're looking for something you're going to find it there i try to always put what exactly i was doing in the video so that you guys can um take advantage of that if i stop making them so long then people will probably go through forgive my appearance i know i look a little crazy because i went work out i've been up since like 5 a.m I uh, and then I went to work out and then I went to the store and dropping kids off and then getting ready for you guys So I haven't had a chance to to shower, but I hope you guys like this video Give me some love if you guys like the video if you like spending this time with me I do appreciate that know that I am going to try and I tried the protein pancakes. Thanks. You're so welcome Denise uh, so if you like if you like the video, give me some love. Let me know if you guys are gonna come on and watch. I'm I'm on the bariatric pal. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much. On the bari bariatric pal, I'm ordering some of their products, and I think that they're gonna really be, be beneficial. Thank you for all the love. I love the love. Give me some love and kisses. And I want you guys to be able to know what is good, and then have a place to get it. In this group, there's a bariatric store. So. Uh, go check it out. They have <clears throat> over 3,000 products. They have literature that's free. You can read up on the reset. You can read up on a nutrition, uh, on a what a nutrition has to say about the food you eat, about your, your, your diet, about your body. They have so many things on here. I'm just like, shut up. And did I say F-R-E-E? -E? So go on there, look at those books, uh, read them, read them, and uh, you might be able to even ask some, some questions that some of you guys have. Bariatric Pal is awesome place. Thank you so much, Cindy. See, Cindy shops there. So I'm going to start getting some things. Uh, I ordered some vitamins. I ordered um, some noodles. I ordered a whole bunch bunch of different things and i'm gonna eat on camera if you guys want to watch me and then that way we can we can figure this out hold on y'all i smell my bread hold on Woo. let me check on my bread all right it's not ready yet all right i am gonna turn this down though I'm throwing it down to about 325 and uh, add about, yeah, it's going to need a little bit more time to cook because uh, it's really not cooked at all, um, the size and the middle. So, and then I'll get you the specifics on the avocado loaf. Uh, <laughs> she just ran. <laughs> specifics on the avocado loaf, but I hope you guys enjoyed the bread got a nice crunch on the outside like I said that would be amazing if you put almonds on top that would really be good so anyway love you guys thanks for hanging with me I pray that your day is blessed I pray that each and every one of you that is going for surgery later on today and uh the first of next week that God has already went into next week went into the day that you have surgery and that he will guide the doctor's hands and that you will safely make it through to the other side because life on this side of surgery is good. If you know it's good, send me some love because I know it's good. And just remember that my success is not yours. Your success will never be mine. It was made and strategically created just for you. 
So don't look at me and say, she's doing better than me. I must be failing. The devil is a lie. My body has its own way of functioning and working, and so does yours. So don't look at anybody else's progress and think that yours is failing. That is not true. I was a slow loser from the beginning. And I, if I would have been on one of these websites, on one of these groups, I probably would have been a little dis discouraged. So I always want everybody to know that no matter where you are in your journey, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. You are successful. And even though the scale may not tell you what you, what you want to know at the time, the scale will continue to move. And that's my prayer each and every day that you are focusing on what you need to put in your body, what you need to put on your body, and your body is a fine-tuned machine. It will produce and work for you. Trust that, know that, believe that. And if you can do that, if you can get out of the stinking thinking and know that whatever you're doing is working, your body will start to perform for you on a better, higher level. Because remember, negativity also impacts the chemicals that flow throughout your body. As you know, when you're scared, your, your energy gets to racing, your blood pressure goes up. So everything, every emotion we have has a, has a chemical reaction in our body. So I want you guys to stay positive. I want you guys to get out of the house. Remember, we're in 10,000 steps this week. We're going to bump it up. Next week, do a little bit more. If those of you want a challenge, let's get on together. And I'm going to put my my um, Samsung Health app, uh, what's that thing called, where you can find me. And then we can connect together. And you can check out my steps. I can check out your steps. And we can be encouraging to one another. So if you want to do that, download that, that uh, healthcare app. And we can like walk together. Uh, let me see. Uh, can you send me the tracking app? Um, I'm going to post it. Uh, and then you guys can like click on it and it should take you to that. Life on this side of surgery is beautiful. That's right, Ms. Richardson. It is beautiful. Order off the bariatric pile, but the multivitamin and calcium packets that I put in my water is discontinued. Aww. Uh, they did my surgery in Mexico. A lot of people are having their surgery done in Mexico. So, I mean, it's cheaper there. But bariatric, the bariatric, uh, the bariatric Pal app and the store makes things so much easier. I haven't lost any weight since February. All right, now we ain't gonna say only Miss Johnson. You've lost forty pounds. That. You know, most of the time we wouldn't have lost if we hadn't done anything. But let's talk. Uh, Lainey Johnson, send me an uh, inbox me and let's see um, what what's going on. Let's see what you're eating. Let, let's let's take a look at it. And I'm I'm almost certain we can pinpoint where the challenge or problem is. So inbox me and let's talk. I do face to face chats. I want to talk to you guys face to face. I don't want to be on the phone. I want to look at you. You look at me and we can have a, 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 a intimate conversation about what's going on. Um, thank you for those words. Because I need encouragement. I'm in the process and always terrified in my own thinking of all the bad. I need positive. All right. No problem, Miss Carmen. If you need anything, reach out to me. I always tell everybody to reach out to me. I mean, if I've reached out to you, go ahead and send me some love and put in here that Adelia is a person of her word. She will get back to you. She will respond to you. And if I don't, just send me like Miss Richardson did. You never called me. And then I will make sure that I call you. So send me some love. If I, if I actually spoke with you, got back to you, I definitely try to be a person of my word. And uh, I'm not just talking. I do get back with you. And I know that sometimes the journey can be daunting. And I know that, you know, some of us don't have a support system and we need someone to support them. So I'm your girl. Become my friend on Facebook. Reach out to me through Messenger. And we will see where the challenges and problems are. And, uh, I mean, if I help somebody, raise your hand in the air. Let me know you out there. But I want you guys to be encouraged. Get out. Get to walking. Um, 
you doing all these things are encouraging to me. You being on here is encouraging to me. So know that you cannot fail. You will not fail. And your body is a, per a perfectly created, fine-tuned machine. They can't make machines that will do what your body will do. And if you put the right things in it and on it, it will perform for you unless there's some other underlying conditions that may stop it from working as perfectly. But it will work for you. Uh, I just want you to be encouraged. If you need anything, reach out to a sister. Let me know how I can help you. You know, I know some of you may be struggling, so that's why I try to take some of the things that we we already spend money on, uh, like the protein powder and the protein shakes. So that I can hopefully help to create some type of different recipes. You know, I got this bread. I'm going to take it. I'm going to crumble it up. And we're going to make bread pudding out of that. I think we did bread pudding the other day. So this is what I start with with my bread pudding. This is what I start with when I do my... Um, French toast and then you get you some low sugar no sugar syrup and boom there you go or you get you some low fat cream cheese soften it stir it add some equal in it and you can have you a spread make you some chips all those different things that we can utilize in our day-to-day -day life i love you guys this is a florida delia is a lady of her word <laughs> she gets back to you even if i forget to get back to you remind me and i will get back to you again a lot of times I get really flooded with text messages and phone calls and I even schedule phone calls. And if I've scheduled a phone call with you and I called you or I reached out and you didn't respond, let me know when's a good time for you and let's try to make that thing happen. Because I know a lot of times we get in places where we need help getting out of. And I just want you guys to remember one thing. I know where you are. I know where you can get and I want to help you out of those places. This could be a daunting journey. And sometimes we just need to talk to somebody that understands exactly where we are, that understands all the hurt and all the pain that we feel, uh, and know that life is going to get better and there is light at the end of the tunnel. And again, turbulence is going to happen when you're on this journey. It's not going to always be good days. Some days won't be very good. But even on the days that aren't good, it's still good because we're losing weight. So if you find yourself at a, at a block or at a stop, let's take a look at what's going on in your diet. Let's take a look at maybe what you're getting in and maybe we can tweak some things and get you, you know, losing weight again. Again, we are still in our 30 day reset. It's almost done. Even if we are done, get on the bandwagon and I will coach you through that as well. Know that I love you guys and I will see you next week, if not before. Y'all know if I get to cooking... I will probably end up doing some stuff and then get on here and tell you guys about that. Know that I love you. See you next time. If you have any questions or anything, reach out to me. Become my friend on Facebook. Send me a message and I will definitely get back with you. All right, guys. I love you. Talk to you soon.